Eyes up! It's Razzle's birthday tomorrow. Razzle's is the birthday girl? That's who she is. Then we need to find a present. The perfect present for Razzle's. Let's look at all the things we chose for Razzle's. I got Razzle's a surfboard. Nice surfboard, Pido. But she's not a surfer. That's not Razzle's. I got her a football. Great football, Trilby. But Razzle's isn't a football player. And I got her a guitar. That's another great present, Rags. But Razzle's isn't a guitar player. That's not who she is either. We have to think some more about who Razzle's is. We need some thinking time. So, let's play! <laughs> Somebody's thinking Anticipation A new creation He's making gadgets and gigas And widgets because Feel an invention coming on Yeah, you feel an invention coming on Yeah, I feel an invention coming on Yeah, you feel an invention coming on present for Razzles. By working out what makes Razzle special, which means working out who she really is. Great idea, B-Max. Watching what Razzles does will definitely tell us who she is. Hey dogs, I'll tell you who I am. I'm the nicest cat you'll ever meet. And I bet you think I'm nice too. That's why it's so easy to buy presents for. Me. What's Razzles doing? She's organising the bookcase. Organising? Yes, Razzles is an organiser. That's who she is. I'll write that down. Let's sneak up quietly. <laughs> Oops. Oops, sorry. What is she doing now that might tell us who she is? She's turned on the radio. Of course, Razzles loves music. A music lover. That's who she is. I'll write that down. Now Razzles is dancing. Dancing. Yes, Razzles is a dancer. 
That's who she is. I'll write that down too. Now that we've watched what Razzles does, we know who she is. She's a music lover who loves music. She's always listening to songs. She's a dancer who loves dancing. She can dance all day long. And an organiser who loves organising. She's the best organised dog we know. All we need now is the perfect present for Razzles. A present that's just right for who she is. Hmm, who she is. I think I feel an invention coming on! Who's that painting pictures? Who's that helping plant a tree? Who's that building sand castles? Who is that pouring tea? Who's that making music? Who's that building something new? That is someone very special. Do you know it's you? It's that special someone's you. Everybody's special. Believe it when I say. Everybody's special, everyone you meet today Is a very special person in their own fantastic way Everybody's special in their own fantastic way yeah, yeah, Everybody's special in their own fantastic way Who's that making mud pies? Who's that dancing in the sun? Who tells teddy bear a story when the day is finally done? Who puts something extra special into everything they do? That is someone very special, do you know it's you? Is that special someone's you? Everybody's special, believe it when I say Everybody's special, everyone you meet today Is a very special person in their own fantastic way Everybody's special in their own fantastic way Yeah, yeah, everybody's special in their own fantastic way Everybody's special, we all have special things we do Everybody's special, me and she and me and you Everybody's special, everyone you meet today Everybody's special, in their own fantastic way Yeah, yeah, everybody's special, in their own fantastic way Hey, what makes you special? Nothing really I reckon you're pretty special Just, well, myself Hey, tell me about yourself I like to roll in mud You like to roll in mud? What else do you like to do? Um, ride a horse. What makes you special, Rosanna? Well, my dog, my brother, my mum, my dad, and my cousins. Yeah, what's special about your cousins? Because they're part of my family. Who's in your family? My brother and my mum and my dad and my dog. And my dog makes me special because um, he loves me and he's a boy called Jed. Have you guys got brothers and sisters? No! no. I've only got a little baby sister. I, I got, got a sister brother. Too. I got a little brother. I got a little sister. Which one's Holly and which one's Marnie? I am oh. Holly. You are Holly? Yeah. And you are Marnie? <laughs> Who have you got with you this time? Spencer. He's a little bit scared. Can you tell me a bit about Spencer? Who is he? He's a little boy. Is he your brother? No, he's... Is he your dad? No. Is he your dog? No. Is he your goldfish? No. Is he your best friend? Yeah. I call this invention the Who Am I 3000. The Who Am I 3000? What does it do? You tell the Who Am I 3000 who someone is and it works out the perfect present for them. That's just what we need. Tell the Who Am I this. Razzles loves organising. She's an organiser. That's who she is. Organising. Razzles loves music. She's a music lover. That's who she is. Music. Right. And Razzles loves dancing. She's a dancer. That's who she is too. Organising, music, dancing. Let's see what the Who Am I 3000 says. <laughs> Eyes up! The Who Am I has worked out the perfect present for Razzles. Hello! Where is everyone? Surprise! Happy birthday! What's this? A party! Who for? For 
you. The one and only Razzles. We looked at who you are and we got you the perfect present. And do you know what it is? What? The perfect present for you, Razzles, is a well-organised dance party. Because we know exactly who you are. Now we can have an exactly perfect dance party. Happy birthday to the one and only Razzle. <laughs> Razzles, ready to catch my super duper rocket throw? <laughs> oh no, the ball's stuck in the tree. Ball stuck in the tree? That sounds like a job for Pido, king of the jungle. Yodelodelo! Here I am, swinging through the rainforest from tree to tree. Look at him go! Here, Rags, here's your ball. Thanks, Pido. No problemo. I love trees. Trees are my friends. We all love trees. I love trees so much, I'd like to live in a tree. Live in a tree? Dogs don't live in trees, Pido. Everyone knows that dogs live in houses. They could live in a house in a tree if they had a tree house. A tree house? That's it! I'll build a tree house. Great idea. But first, let's play! <laughs> Some of the time, maybe a lot I can have a little trouble Figuring out the plot, but when I do You know it's true, I get enthused You better move, cause I get into my drummer's groove And then it's Stand back, brain attack Stand back, brain attack I think I know exactly what to do Time I get it, and don't forget it, you won't regret it I get ignited and I can't help feeling so excited Cause it's Stand back, brain attack Stand back, brain attack I think I know exactly what to do Stand back, brain attack I know exactly how to get my best mates through He knows exactly how to get his best mates sort of tree? Oh, I hadn't thought of that. There are lots of different sorts of trees. There are big trees and small trees. Fruit trees and flowering trees. And even rainforest trees. They're my favourite. Oh, 
Ooh, that's a lot of trees. Stand back! Rain attack! Pido's had an idea. What's your idea, Pido? My idea is I'll build my treehouse first, then find a tree to put it in afterwards. Shake your tails. Let's all swing through the trees and find things for Pido's treehouse. We can use this big box for our treehouse. Great treehouse box, Pido. Now what else do we need? A bird bath. Birds live in trees too, and they might like a bath after a busy day flying. Bird bath! I'll get it! Here's Dumpster's old water bowl. We can use that for a bird bath. Birds washing in my old water bowl? Oh, how embarrassing! What will the cats at the dump say? And what else do we need for our tree house? <gasps> I know, a telescope. A telescope? So you can see things far, far away. A telescope, I'll get it. Whoa, this telescope is good. It makes Razzles look really close. I am really close. Now we've got everything we need for my treehouse. Let's start building it. Once upon a time there was an itty bitty seed Underneath a pile of leaves, beneath a patch of prickly weed Every day it looked about its home to see what it could see And in an itty bitty voice it said I wanna be a tree I wanna be a tree, oh I wanna be a tree I want a melon or a daisy, it doesn't do that much for me I wanna be a tree with arms that reach up to the sky And if I'm patient you will see I'll be a tall tree by and by trees, some big ones and some small, then with the rustle from a branch it dropped an itty bitty seed, and in an itty bitty voice it said, I wanna be a tree. Hey guys, do you have any trees nearby where you live? Yeah, we have heaps and heaps. Wow, what are they like? Well, they just stand there all day and they're brown, but they've got brown branches with green leaves. What are trees? They have big trunks and stuff like that. Is it like an elephant's trunk? No. <laughs> Can you explain it to me? Well, it's like this big brown thing and goes like that, and then there's all leaves up on the top. It has a trunk and it has a hole if the squirrels want to go in like their home. Can you tell me the names of animals that live in trees? Yes, koalas, kookaburras. Are all trees the same or are they different? They're different. Wow. What kinds of different trees do you know? Well, we know the jacaranda. Coconut trees. Eucalyptus tree, which is a gum tree. Um, apple trees, paper bark tree. What does it look like? Um, well, it's like this paper. It's like this bark, like on the tree, it's like white. At my school, there's a lemon tree. Wow, do you buy the lemons and stick them on? No. How do they get there? Um, they like grow. Finished. That's a great 
great treehouse, Pido. The best treehouse ever. But there's only one problem. A problem? What kind of problem? Is it bigger than a tall tree? No, not that big. Is it smaller than a small flea? Flea? Trilby said flea. Everybody scratch! <laughs> The problem is, we've built a super tree house, but it isn't in a tree. That's right. We have to put the tree house in a tree. But how do we get it up there? Birds live in trees, and I love birds. I love the way they sing. Have you heard me sing? <laughs> me! Aren't I? The tree house is very heavy and the tree is very high. And even if we could get it up in the tree, what about when the wind blows? And the tree sways from side to side. It sways this way. And that way. This way. And that. Oh, now I think I'm feeling tree sick. Stand back. Feeling attack. Instead of having our treehouse in the tree, we could have it on the ground. Great brain attack, Pido! And we can put some little trees in pots around the outside. And we can decorate it inside with pictures of trees. This'll be the best treehouse ever! <laughs> Sing. We got something to say The Rats Kids Club Band Can you come out to play?